This is Jerry Lawson. Besides being perhaps the most huggable looking man in history, he's also a pioneer of video game technology whose contributions to console gaming cannot be overstated. But before I tell you about all the cool things he did, let's spend a minute to discuss how he got there. From a young age, Lawson showed an interest in science and engineering. One of his passions was for ham radio, and at the age of 13, he got his amateur radio operator's license. Shortly after that, he built his own radio station in his room. As a teenager, he made extra money repairing televisions in the neighborhood, even though his knowledge was all self-taught. Although his father had a lifelong interest in science, and his grandfather had studied to be a physicist, Lawson credits his mother and his first grade teacher with inspiring him to become an engineer. Of his teacher, he wrote this, I had a picture of George Washington Carver on the wall next to my desk, and she said, this could be you. This kind of influence led me to feel, I want to be a scientist. I want to be something. In 1970, he got a job as an engineering consultant at Fairchild Semiconductors in my hometown of San Jose, California. While he was working there, he used Fairchild's new F8 microprocessor to build his own arcade cabinet in his garage. This would later become the arcade game Demolition Derby, one of the first game machines to use a microprocessor. But his big break came a few years later when he was bumped up to Director of Engineering and Marketing for Fairchild's video game division. It was here that he led the development of the Fairchild's home console, the Channel F. Although it wasn't a huge seller, the Channel F had some truly innovative features for the time, including the first use of a pause button. But the biggest breakthrough was the development of removable ROM storage. You see, up until this time, software was stored on a ROM drive that was soldered directly to the game hardware, and it couldn't be removed. But Lawson and his team came up with the novel idea of using removable ROM, which meant that the users could buy software separately without changing their system. In other words, this was the first ever use of game cartridges. This idea was so novel, in fact, that every new cartridge had to be approved individually by the FCC. As a hobbyist, Lawson was also an early member of the famous Homebrew Computer Club, the same one that included Apple computer founders Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. In a 2009 interview, Lawson said of them, I was not impressed with them, either one of them actually. As a matter of fact, Wozniak, a fan of video games, once applied to be a developer for Fairchild, but Lawson turned him down. In his own words, I interviewed Steve Wozniak for a job to work for us. Well, my guys were kind of impressed with him at first, and I said I wasn't. I never had been. In other words, it wouldn't be a stretch to say that if it hadn't been for Lawson, Wozniak might have become a game developer and never founded his own company with Steve Jobs. And the iPhone or the iPad that you're using to watch this video would never have been invented. Lawson was one of the only black members of the Homebrew Computer Club, and in fact, one of the only black engineers in Silicon Valley in general. When asked about the lack of black engineers both then and now, Lawson had this to say. The black kids were put under an aroma of, you can't do something. It was something that would not help them with any kind of inspiration to go anywhere. He went on to say, to get them to consider it in the first place, that's the key, even considering the thing. I remember one time I was in Las Vegas, walking down the strip. A black kid came up to me and said, are you Jerry Lawson? I said, yeah. He said, thanks, and shook my hand and walked on past me and I thought I may have inspired him. I'm writing my story because I think that when kids go there, black kids, and they see somebody black, it will make a big difference on them. For this reason, I felt that now was an especially poignant time to point out that not only do black lives matter, but also black stories matter. Without people like Jerry Lawson, we probably wouldn't have home video game consoles or even the smartphones that we have as they exist today.